We turn now to Jackson, where officials with the city's public schools welcomed a new fleet of electric school buses. Our Nick Simon was there and spoke with the people who helped make it happen. Nick. That's right, Trevon. Jackson is one of the first districts in the state to operate a full fleet of electric buses. Officials say it's an, impor an important first step towards the all of the all electric future that these kids will grow up to see. And they say it's going to save the district a lot of money along the way. Aside from the fuel savings, electric motors don't have nearly as many moving parts, which means that the cost to keep these on the road will go down substantially over the life of the vehicle. District officials are projecting a uh, savings of about $100,000 in just the first 12 months. The 21 buses cost around $300,000 each, but the money for those and their chargers were helped along by federal funding, along with private sector support from Consumers Energy and Highlands Electric Fleets. Companies like this are also interested in getting uh, these projects off the ground because it will show other businesses in the area how to electrify their own fleets going forward. I hope that this proves as a case study, if you will, to others that this can be done. Consumers Energy, we are on, we have an ambition to get a million vehicles on the road, EVs on the road by 2030. Now we also got the chance to talk to some of the bus drivers who'll be behind the wheel. They're also excited about the changes and they can't wait to start using these new buses on their routes. Back to you.